Hi boys and girls, today for our reading lesson, we are going to be reading a book together. And our book is called Let Me Finish, and it's written by Min Lee and illustrated by Isabel Roxas. And as we read this book today, we're gonna to talk about a new skill. And our new skill that we're gonna be talking about is trying to figure out the author's point of view. Okay, now you may not have heard that before. Can you repeat it after me? Author's point of view. So basically what that means is we're gonna to try to figure out who is telling the story. How did the author write the story to be told? Sometimes the story is told by um, the main character. Okay, sometimes the main character is the narrator. Sometimes the narrator is someone who's not even a part of the story. They're just telling the story. Um, and narrator could be a word that you've never heard before. Can you repeat that word after me? Narrator. So what a narrator is, is they are the person that is telling the story. They're telling all of the fun things or all of the details in the story that's happening. Um, and if the main character is the narrator, we're going to hear words in the story like I, me, and my, because that means that the main character is the one who is telling the story. Okay, now sometimes the narrator could be somebody that's not even a part of the story. They're just a person that's telling a story. So instead of seeing words like I, me, and my, you're gonna see lots of characters' names, um, and it's gonna sound like someone is talking about the characters instead of the characters talking about themselves, okay? Now, hopefully that's not too confusing for you, but as we read this book together, I want you to try to figure out who is telling this story? Is it the main character? Is it somebody else in the story? Is it a narrator that's not really even a part of the story? They're just telling it? Well, we're gonna read to figure out and I hope you really like this book. It's a really fun book. It's called Let Me Finish. You guys can see okay. Ah, nothing like a quiet spot and a new book. Oh, I loved that book. Me too. Can you believe her best friend turns out to be a robot? And that her hat was actually a time machine? Hey, I was just getting started and you've already ruined the ending. Next time, please let me finish. So here's the boy and he's kind of digging through all his books and he goes, found it. I've been meaning to read this one forever. Now I'm gonna pause right here. We're already seeing that as we're reading the story, I see the word I or, and me and my, and that means that this boy, the main character, sounds like he's telling the story. So it could be from the main character's point of view. He could be the narrator, but let's keep reading to figure out more. Now to find a peaceful spot where I won't be disturbed. I found a spot behind a big rock. Have you gotten to the part where the puppy runs away? That was so sad. But then they saved the poor thing from the well. What a surprise ending. Grandma to the rescue. Oh no! They ruined the book for him again. Oh no, not again. Hmm, what have we have here? He has like a package on his doorstep. Yes, I've been waiting all year for this book. No one better spoil this one for me. There's the word me. That means that the narrator is the one doing the talking in this story. He's on his way to find a new spot. Here we go. I can't wait to dive in. Ooh, I'm in the middle of that book too. That's my favorite part. Don't you love it when he reaches the top of the mountain? Oh no. No, not this time. This time I'm making it to the end. Just let me finish. He seems very frustrated. I'm reading that too. I tore right through it. You never guess that the island is actually 
Oh no, and there he is running away. He does not want to hear the ending. He wants to figure it out for himself. I haven't gotten there yet. Please let me finish. Great choice. What a page turner. Watch out for the dinosaur at the... <laughs> la, 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 I can't hear you. La, 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 I'm begging you. Please let me finish. There's the word me again. So now it's pretty clear to see that our main character, the boy, is the narrator. There he is. He's climbing over rocks, swimming under, just to get to a safe place to read his book. There he is. Let's see if he finishes. Finally, all alone. So there he is. As he's reading, he's feeling sad. It's making him laugh. It looks like he's really hooked on this book. <clears throat> Have you gotten to the dinosaur at the end of the book yet? <laughs> he wasn't actually alone. I think I just did. Ah! And he, there he is, he actually fell into the book. <clears throat> you won't believe what just happened in this no, let me finish. I still haven't gotten to the end. This is a kind of a cute book. The whole time, the little boy is reading the book and he finds a spot to finish his book on top of a dinosaur that he doesn't know. And turns out the dinosaur is actually reading a book after the boy fell into the book. Anyways, very cute book. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, and as I was reading, I noticed lots of different clues to tell me who the narrator was. Um, like when the boy is saying, let me finish, we know that it's the boy talking. So we know that our main character is our narrator. Okay, So we would actually call this first person point of view because it's coming from the main character in the story. The main character is the narrator. Okay, So I hope that you enjoyed this book today. Um, today for your uh, seesaw lesson, we don't really have an actual activity to complete, but I do want to challenge you. As you are reading or as you are um, listening to books maybe on Epic or maybe on Raz Kids, I want to challenge you as you're reading to figure out if you can tell who the narrator is in the stories that you're reading. Is it the main character? Is it somebody who's not actually a part of the story? Is it a different person in the story? Okay, so as you're reading your books today, I want you to figure out who is the narrator in your story. Bye, guys.